Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Outdoor Indoor Texan. Today I'm walking y'all through one of my all-time favorite hot sauce recipes, which is cayenne pepper hot sauce. Now what does Frank's Red Hot, Original Louisiana Hot Sauce, Crystal, Texas Pete, Old Bay, and many other hot sauce staples have in common? They're all made with cayenne peppers. And they're all based more or less off of this very simple recipe. So let's get started. First up, you can't make cayenne pepper hot sauce without, well, cayenne peppers. You'll need half a pound of red cayennes. And the only prep work you'll need to do for the peppers is just cutting off their stems. And remember, if you're sensitive to hot peppers and capsaicin oil, make sure to proceed with extreme caution. Open a window, turn on a fan, and maybe wear some gloves. Once your peppers are prepped, transfer them into a small to medium sized saucepan. Next, add four cloves of garlic. I'm using minced garlic, but whole cloves are totally fine. Add one teaspoon of kosher salt, one cup of white vinegar, and finally half a cup of water or just enough to cover the peppers. Now bring the liquid up to a rolling boil and then reduce the heat, letting it simmer for about 20 minutes. The reason we're simmering everything is to break down and soften the cell structures of the peppers, as well as ensuring all the ingredients are thoroughly combined. And this step could be an opportunity to play around with the recipe. Instead of simmering the peppers, you could maybe try charring the peppers over fire, smoking them, broiling them in the oven, or even fermenting them in a brine. Each tweak will give you a slightly different flavor profile and end result, but I promise the easy method here, so today we're just simmering them. After 20 minutes, let your pan cool to room temperature and then toss everything into a blender. Now turn that blender on and give everything a thorough high speed blend until there are no visible solids left. Before moving on to the next step, take a moment and taste your sauce. At this point, you're more or less tasting the finished product. So if there's anything at all you wanna to change to the recipe, now would be the time to make that tweak. Maybe it needs a little bit of salt or a touch of sugar, or you wanna make it more viscous by adding vinegar or water. Have fun with it. Now, even after a good run in the blender, there's still gonna be some seeds and flesh left in the sauce. Grab a large bowl and a fine mesh strainer and pour everything through. Take a silicon spatula and gently press the last of the sauce through your sieve until you're left with a thick pepper mash. Now, don't toss that mash out because you can either put it in its own jar and use it as a pepper concentrate for cooking, or if you're looking for a whole separate project, I have another video on my channel that walks you through how you can dehydrate this mash and turn it into a homemade chili powder. Finally, grab a funnel and a sterilized hot sauce bottle, stir your sauce well, and then pour. And just like that, you're done. This particular recipe tastes very close to Frank's Red Hot, but in my opinion, much better. And it's great on just about any bit of food that needs a kick. It's not too hot, especially compared to some of the other sauce recipes on my channel, and it has the perfect tang of vinegar. Now the best and safest storage for your sauce will always be in the fridge. This sauce will stay good for months on end, although most of my bottles are empty well before that. Like I mentioned at the beginning, many popular hot sauces are built off of this simple cayenne pepper hot sauce recipe. So once you've mastered this version, play around with the recipe a bit and see where it takes you. It's an excellent building block that'll lead you to some really wild results. That'll do it for this one, and thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more great content to come. All right, y'all, take care.